Theories and Thinking on the New Paradigm. I have found several books challenging and helpful in thinking about a new paradigm. The Reenchantment of the World by Morris Berman, The Reenchantment of Science, Postmodern Proposals, edited by David Ray Griffin, and The Holographic Paradigm and Other Paradoxes, Exploring the Leading Edge of Science, edited by Ken Wilber. I am happy that these books came into my life after I had worked for over 20 years on my own in trusting the changes that I felt necessary in psychology and psychotherapy and had done almost 10 years of work in my own recovery. Because of that previous search and many major shifts within myself, I was open to ideas that could articulate or help articulate my experience. I had taken time out from reading scholarly books for many years in order to start from my own experience as I tried to conceptualize and bring understanding to that experience. When I finally did happen upon and tackle some of these books, it was from a position of being well grounded in living in process and recovery. I use the word tackle because, in general, I have not found writers operating on the theoretical plane very easy to read. My motivation was such that I happily hacked through what seemed like millions of footnotes and language and concepts that tired my brain and my patience. As I said earlier, the issue of the struggle to understand became most obvious when I asked those who were training with me to read some of the books and articles, and they responded with open rebellion. Even though our trainees are very bright people, and most of them are highly educated, I finally ended up translating an article by one of the writers because I thought the information was important and I wanted them to have it. They simply would not read it in its original form. I feel especially sad that this information is so hard to read because I believe in my heart of hearts that this new paradigm is something that is present in the DNA of the human race. We all know about it. In some deep recess in our beings, we remember what we have tried to forget in order to try to fit into a world governed by this mechanistic scientific worldview. I've often said that this addictive system is an illusionary system. It is built on the illusion of control, the illusion of perfectionism, the illusion of objectivity, dishonesty, confusion, crazy thinking, and abstractions and concepts that have become completely disembodied and are not tempered by our experience or our beings. We have built that world on theoretical constructs that are unrelated to the world as it actually exists, and we have called it reality. Whenever we've put forth our reality, we are told that we do not understand reality and that we are crazy. We have been told that the illusion is reality, and reality is illusion. Is it any wonder that we are willing to accept a label of crazy? Is it any wonder that we feel we must give up reality in order to fit in? Is it any wonder that we need to anesthetize the pain of our loss of self, our connection with, and our place in all of the created universe? The information about the new, old, paradigm is not just for scholars. People who have experienced the new paradigm in their lives must inform the scholars, and the scholars need to share their information in such a way that ordinary people can know that they already knew it. I will share some ideas about the new paradigm that have been important for me, and maybe that will encourage a more careful reading of these writers. Please know that I do not pretend to do any of them justice.